Ketchup and mustard? Ketchup. Ketchup. You want two of them? You're going to need two of them. There you go. My last one. Good morning. morning! It is still morning, right? It feels like it might be later because we're eating lunch. Good morning. morning! All right, well, welcome, everybody. Thank you so much. What an awesome, awesome turnout. We're so glad to see so many people out here at Stout Field on the west side. My name is Linda Broadfoot. I'm the director of Indy Parks, and it's so great to see all these wonderful and exciting, and they were so sweet coming through the line young people uh, enjoying a meal as we kick off the Summer Food Servings Program. One of the best parts of this job is I get to MC events like this, so, so this is very exciting. Indy Parks is pleased once again to partner with all of our friends in, throughout the city of Indianapolis and the Indiana Department of Education to serve free lunch and breakfast meals to youth under the age of 18 during the summer months. For our part, Indy Parks, we will guide at least 107 meal sites, including 35 park locations and 36 mobile food unit locations. And if last year is any indication, Indy Parks, just Indy Parks, not all the other fabulous partners, Indy Parks is on target to serve more than 200,000 meals this year. Indy Parks has participated in this awesome program for over 10 years. I want to expend a special thank you to all the participating organizations, schools, churches, libraries, and all of our state and local leadership for all of their efforts. And thank you so much to the Indy Parks staff. They may not actually be cooking the food, some people think they do, but they work really, really hard to get this program going. Thank you, Malele Kennedy. all of our participating park staff and the valuable contributions by so many individuals, many of whom are here today, that make this program possible every single year. And we can't forget to welcome again these children who depend upon these meals. It's gonna be a really great summer. Woo! We couldn't do it without you. Thank you very much. Up next, I have the pleasure of welcoming Dr. Jeff Butts, the superintendent of the Metropolitan School District of Wayne Township. Thank you, Linda, and good morning still today. Um, scholars, it's wonderful to see you here on this first week of our summer break. You know, it was just a couple years ago that our food service director, uh, Sarah Gazarowski, came to us uh, with an opportunity for us to be able to serve our children during the summer months these wonderful, nutritious meals. We talk about, during the summer months, the cognitive learning loss that occurs uh, when students are not in school, but we have to also remember that while our students are in school, they are receiving daily nutritious meals for breakfast, lunch, and in some cases for dinner. When they're no longer in school during these summer months, many of our children do not have those opportunities to receive those nutritious meals. And so the summer servings program is a terrific opportunity for our students, um, not only to get nutritious meals, but also for, in our case, many of our schools and staff to interact with our children throughout the summer months in our schoolhouses and around the community with community partners. Here in the MSD of Wayne Township, we have approximately 78% of our children who qualify for free and reduced lunch, and that number is even higher in the Indianapolis Public Schools and across Marion County. Even though we have 200 serving sites in Marion County, only about 15% of our eligible children are taking advantage of this program, and there are so many resources to offer. So we are asking for our community, we are asking for our parents, we're asking for everybody here involved to make sure to get the word out about summer servings. This is an amazing program to keep our children getting nutritious meals during the summer months so that they can continue to enjoy their summer, then have fun, interact, and, and uh, continue to thrive during these summer months. So please get the word out, let them know. If you do not know where there is a serving site, because for instance here in the MSD of Wayne Township, we have sites that are located 
across our community, but we also have two school buses that have been converted into serving um, stations that go around to different places. So as a parent, as a grandparent, as somebody who has young children during the day, you can go on to the Summer Servings website, www.summerservingsalloneword.org. Type in your zip code and it will give you a list of the sites that are close to where you are and you can determine where those uh, serving sites are. And this is for all children 18 and under. All children 18 and under, you don't have to have a uh, license, you don't have to have a permit, you don't have to have any identification, you just need to show up to the site and we will give you a free lunch during the summer months. So please encourage everyone to find out where their local site is, to take advantage of this program and to help our students to have nutritious meals throughout the summer. Thank you, Linda. All right, thank you, Dr. Butts. Up next, we have Megan Sims, the District Director from the Office of Representative Andre Carson. Megan. Thanks, Linda. It's an honor to be here today on behalf of Congressman Carson. Uh, he's in Washington, so I'm here as a poor substitute. So, summer servings ensures that children have nutritious food throughout the summer. This ensures that they continue to grow and learn even when school is not in session. It is impressive to see our community come together to support this cause. The Indy Hunger Network, the school systems, our faith-based community, our city parks, <clears throat> and national leaders continue to join forces each year. The Indiana Department of Education has done a phenomenal job working with sponsors from around the state and right here in Marion County. Like Dr. Buck said, there is no registration to participate in summer servings program, which means it's available to every child. With locations all over the Indianapolis area, no child should go hungry. Year after year, Congressman Carson has been supportive of increased funding for summertime lunches, including sponsorship of the National School Lunch Act. Congressman Carson is working to ensure our kids in school and in the summer have food they need to learn inside and outside of school. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. Up next, we have Justin Moed, our state representative from District 97. Thank you, Linda, and thank you to all the partners that helped put this great program on. Uh, I serve on the House Education Committee, where often not talked about are the complexities and the challenges that schools and educators face when we try and teach our kids. Uh, and uh, those challenges are often uh, not addressed by the state legislature. And meals are a vital uh, element to educational achievement. Hungry kids cannot learn and retain knowledge uh, effectively. And the Summer Servings Program is aimed and geared toward trying to help address that. And I just want to thank all the partners again for that. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. Up next, we have Glenda Ritz, the Indiana Superintendent of Public Instruction. It is my pleasure to be here to kick off the summer service uh, program um, and the summer servings. I've been around the state. I travel two to three days a week um, seeing the need of our children and food is one of the needs that we absolutely have to meet. Uh, so getting the word out about the programs all over the state is very, very, very important. Um, basically, you feed the body, you feed the mind. That's how simple it is. Um, we got to make sure that we get the word out for what we need to be able to do. So the Department of Education is certainly always excited to have this federal program funding from USDA to make sure that we get all the sites uh, organized throughout the summer. We have so many partners, you just wouldn't believe. Um, last year alone, every day, we served over 70,000 meals statewide. Um, and I expect that probably even be even more this year. Uh, from school corporations, to private schools and churches, to the Gleaner Food Bank, to the Boys and Girls Club, Indy Parks, the, the Indy Hunger, Hunger Network, and so many sponsors in so many locations. And we're getting, we're getting pretty good at finding the children, making sure that our sites are going to be 
places where children are going to naturally be during the summer. Uh, it's making sure that they're going to get fed. So I just want to thank everybody that's here. I want to thank the, the families who participate. Um, and kids, you know, bring your neighbors, bring your friends. You know, it's a great way to hang out for a little bit during the summer and just make sure that uh, we all have a good time and make sure we have great meals um, by, from, the, from the federal government program that we have and making sure that Indiana is taking advantage of that for all of our children here in our state. Thank you so much for making it happen today. All right, and last but not least, we have a special guest who came all the way from Washington, D.C. to greet us today. Max Finberg is the National Director of the AmeriCorps and VISTA program, who is a very important partner in this program as well. Max? Thank you kindly. Thank you. Yes, uh, unfortunately, this exists because there's need. It's about a third of a million children here in the Hoosier State who don't always know where their next meal is coming from. And when that's one out of six of the kids sitting around here and in this neighborhood and in this city and in this state, we need to do something about it. Because, as you said, a hungry child can't learn and a hungry adult can't earn. And so it's only through programs like this that that changes. And you've heard there's no such thing as a free lunch. The good thing is it's free to the kids, but this is your taxpayer dollars at work. This is exactly what Republicans and Democrats can agree is a great way to make sure that summer learning loss doesn't hit, that these kids get to start the next grade ready to learn again, because over the summer they had something to do. They had something to eat. So it's a wonderful thing that the U.S. Department of Agriculture, working with the State Department of Education, working with summer servings, makes this happen. And it's only through partnerships that that works. And so I've been here in Indianapolis over the last couple days seeing those partnerships. So it was with uh, the Indianapolis uh, Hunger Network yesterday that is working with Gleaners Food Bank, with the Midwest Food Bank, with uh, Second Helpings, with a whole bunch of partners, including Parks and Rec. Not everybody gets a TV show named after them, but that's pretty cool that Indian Parks does. And that's reaching the kids. And that's what's so wonderful. So a special shout out, Lauren back there is an AmeriCorps VISTA volunteer, the Volunteers in Service to America. And she's dedicating a year of her life to doing this great work. So her predecessor, Kelly was helping. I met her, uh, her young daughter yesterday. She finished her year of service, has a young child and her work continued to be what we see today. So I am grateful that uh, AmeriCorps VISTA is part of the solution and that it's only through partnerships that we get to help all of our kids have a better summer and a better future. So thank you for including me. All right, thank you all for helping us ser serve children. Thank you for helping us battle hunger. Thank you for allowing Indy Parks to be a part of this amazing partnership, these amazing programs. We are in a beautiful park, one of 210 awesome parks that Indy Parks has to offer. It's a beautiful day. So I'll just say, go to summerservings.org, call 211 or call 327 Park to find a location near you for free lunch this summer. Otherwise, let's hit the playground. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>